Hey guys, okay, so today I'm going to be doing my movie review for the movie Elysium. Um, I saw this movie last night with, with some of my theater friends. I thought it was so good. I've been wanting to see it. It came out last weekend, but working at a theater all weekend, it was very busy. I was very tired. Didn't really want to deal with lots of crowds, so I saw it Monday, yesterday. It was great. One of the things I love this movie is that it's a great story. Um, it's really interesting to see like what life would be like um, on Earth. Um, basically, Elysium is about this guy named Max, who is played by Matt Damon, and Max basically has a criminal past and is trying to move on with his life, and he works at a car factory. I mean, not a car factory. He, he, he works in, like, building building robots, and um, he's trying to, you know, have a, like, just have a better life, and um, so, yeah, so he basically, all of his, Max is an orphan, and he basically meets this girl named Frey, and they basically become childhood friends, best friends, and then they basically split up, Frey becomes a school nurse. I mean, not a school nurse, because Frey, Frey becomes a hospital nurse. And uh, so, yeah. So Max is trying to get to Elysium. A lot of people are. Elysium is basically this floating space station where there's, there's no death. There's no sickness. It's like a perfect utopia. It's like a floating spaceship. And the thing about Elysium is that the only people who can, who can get to Elysium is the very wealthy, the very rich. Um, and if you go to Elysium on, like, illegally, you're basically shot down so they can basically see... Um, ships coming in, and, um, yeah, so it's not, it's not, it's definitely bad if you get shot, it's really bad, so yeah, um, Elysium, um, and a, another thing about it was, just again, the cast was fantastic, I feel like Matt Damon was perfect as Max, he perfectly portrayed the bad sense of the inner conflict between Max, how he wants to get to Elysium, he's very selfish, it's all about me, 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 and then a tragic accident happens, and he has to get to Elysium to survive. Because the thing about Elysium is they have these special pods that that can, that that can cure anything. Like if you have cancer, no problem. You're like healed in minutes. If you have a broken leg, no problem. You're healed in minutes. Like it's a really really cool invention there. Um, but yeah, so basically Max is basically the antihero. He uh, starts out being selfish, and then he reunites with Frey, his childhood friend, who's also an orphan. Frey has a daughter named Matilda, and Matilda has leukemia. She's basically dying, and Frey obviously has no money to take her to Elysium. So it's kind of like Max's journey to even get to Elysium and make it basically available to where anyone can go to Elysium, not just the rich and wealthy. Um, I felt like, and then also um, Jodie Foster, she was great as the villain. So she was very cold, calculating, ma like manipulative. She's basically in charge of the Homeland Security, and she's very manipulative and she's very cold. So she was great as the villain. Another villain that's kind of like her flunky is Charlotte Coppola, um, Copley, who plays Kruger, who's like kind of like her assassin. Her basically ears on on Earth to basically snuff out anyone who is basically trying to plot to get to Elysium or overthrow Elysium or any kind of dangerous thing. He's there. Um, he was just crazy villain. He was very creepy. He definitely has some mental problems. Um, yeah, creepy, like such a scary guy. Um, really weird. Um, I loved Frey, who was played by Alice Bragda. I felt like she, I felt like she did a good job of just portraying a strong, independent, single woman who's just trying to raise her daughter, survive, and basically cure her daughter's leukemia. But her daughter's basically dying, so it's kind of like sad for her, because um, she's all that she has left. She's, she's a single mom, you know. That's it. Um, yeah, I just love the director Neil Blomkamp. I loved the camera shots. I loved how this was shot on location. Um, Earth was shot in Mexico City. I love how that was not green screen. It was very real. It was very realistic. It shot in the slums in Mexico City. I, I just love that. It was very gritty, very real. I didn't feel like anything was over dramatized or fake. I just love that. Um, I've been to Mexico. I went to I went to Tijuana, Mexico, on a mission trip about six six about six years ago. It was just very sad just to see these kids who had just grown up on the wrong side of the border and like they're living in these horrible conditions. Like, tons of bugs, like, horrible conditions. Like, ten full people to, like, one teeny tiny house. Like, it was so sad. So, I love that that wasn't green screen. It was just very real, very realistic. Um, I love how that wasn't green screen. Um, Elysium, I'm sure that was all CGI. I don't know how else they can do that. Um, so, yeah. But, or probably green screen. But, yeah, I love that. It was really cool. Um, another thing about, I love the music. I felt like music perfectly contributed to the tone. It contributed to the apprehension of Max trying to, you know, trying to get involved and go into Elysium and then, and then when he's on Elysium, it's very different. It's very tranquil, peaceful, whereas Earth is very chaotic and loud and bustling and stuff like that. Um, so 
so yeah, uh, this movie is rated R. It's two hours long, but I feel like it went by so fast. Like, I loved the action. The action scenes were so cool. I know Matt Damon had to undergo, like, a big physical transformation. I know he had to gain at least probably, like, a lot of weight to look fit and look as fit as he did. Not that he doesn't look fit before, but he definitely had to, like, bulk up a lot for this movie. Um, just watch some of the featurettes. He, he, uh, he talks about his training regimen. Um, so yeah, I was very surprised for this movie. I wanted to see this movie for a long time. And obviously, I didn't see it when it came out because I worked at the theater all weekend and just was very busy. I didn't really want to see, see it with a lot of people. I loved it. Uh, it's very interesting to see, like, how, what would I do to, to, like, get you lazy to survive the gritty streets of Earth? Where there's really, honestly, there's not a lot of ways to make an honest living. There's really not. Um, so I love that. I love how Max is struggling with his demons and also trying to be more about less about himself and about getting Frey and her daughter to safety. Like, he basically wants Frey's daughter healed. He loves Frey. Frey loves him. I love their relationship. I thought, it, I thought it was really sweet, but also how they're there for each other. I loved um, Max's friends. I thought, that, I thought they were really cool together. Um, I just loved this movie. It was just, it was heartbreaking. Definitely lots of twists. I was not expecting the ending at all. Definitely lots of twists. So if you think it's going to be the typical, oh, everyone gets out alive, you're wrong. Um, that's not how it is. I'm not going to spoil anything more. But yeah, definitely some twists. Kept me, it kept me on the end of my seat. I would definitely recommend this movie to anyone who loves it. It's a good action sci-fi, but also a good, I feel like it has a, it has a heart and a big and a messages. I loved how the messages were interwoven. It wasn't like very like brass and abrasive and like over your head. Uh, there was definitely some, obviously there was one big message about the 99% versus versus the 1%. Because the Elysium is the 1%, 9, 99% is Earth and everyone else. Um, I like that. And also there was a big thing about illegal immigration. Because again, anyone who illegally tries to come to Elysium is shot down and they burn up basically. They basically die in this horrible crash. Which, it's very interesting. I, I find that very interesting just because... I liked how the director let you make your own decision. It wasn't very, like, bold and in your face. It just was very calmly and really efficiently woven into the storyline. Again, this movie was great. I'm definitely seeing it again, hopefully with, with some of my friends at college. Um, it just was so good. I love this movie, and it was well worth it. So go see it again. What was your favorite part of the movie? Do you want to go see it? What would you do to get to Elysium? Let me know in the comments. Again, thank you so much for watching, guys. Have a good night, and again, comment, like, subscribe, and follow me on Tumblr. Thank you guys so much, and have a good night.